on the road to the rest of her career. And now we look ahead to a 14-year-old Korean skater, Nae Young Yu, and this hero-style free skate to Wonder Woman has been picked by her brilliant choreographer, Ye Ji Shin, to showcase her strength. Hopefully she will use that as the vehicle to deliver a clean skate. She's going to open with the triple toe, triple toe. Well, we can see from the reaction to getting up from the finished position for Ne Young Yu, the challenges that she faced and the Wonder Woman concept. The idea for the free skate was to play to her strengths, but obviously that was in the assumption that she would deliver with the jumping content as well. And unfortunately for Ne Young, three falls make that tough skate. It is really hard to continue performing when you're trying to get uh, to when the jumps aren't working or when the program's not working. Mm. But as a big superhero fan myself, if you're watching any su sort of superhero film, they gotta 
be practically defeated before they actually perform the way they're supposed to. So hopefully she can use that and, and succeed the rest of the season. Caitlin, how much more energy does it take when you're falling and having to get back up and chase the music? Is it a double, it's like a double run through? It is like a double run through. When you're landing the jumps, when you're able to perform, then you get the adrenaline, you get the energy to be able to continue. But if you fall, you have to get back up, you have to fight through things, and that takes a lot more effort. Here's a look at, at the triple sow. You can see even the landings are a little bit tight, so getting enough speed to finish the rotations is difficult. Um, and to get, keep the momentum and the speed out of those jumps are really difficult. Here's a look at the choreography sequence at the end of the program. Uh, I love choreo sequences. I think they're the best things mm. incorporated in skating. And uh, I just hope people use them the way they can be used. <laughs> yeah, when a, when a program is going really well, technically you see the energy level in a choreo sequence go way up. <laughs> and you know, it's usually it's near the end of the program because it's part of the presentation, it's maybe taking a little less energy. Um, and they, yeah, I agree with you, Caitlin, they're so effective and such a important part of the choreography. But I like your thought there for the, young, a... for the young skaters to think Sorry. jumps are part of your choreography. So I love that what Caitlin said that your jumps and spins are all part of the choreography. So think of them that way and you know, it'll help you not make a mistake maybe. I don't know. Go ahead, Caitlin. <laughs> I used, a, I made a lot of mistakes, so maybe it doesn't help fully, but it does help you incorporate <laughs> the timing. Um, and uh, it helps with that performance. And even if you've had a bad skate, try to put it behind you and sell the end of the program, because uh, that's the last thing the judges are going to see. Good point. Very good point. Make them forget you fell. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, let's take a look at the scores. For Nae Young, you from Korea. 81.14, that is eighth in the free program. Just too many mistakes. And 130.53 total score for the competition. That'll put her currently in sixth place with nine skaters yet to skate. 